Hey everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today I am going to be doing a review and a flip through of Abeka's Health, Safety, and Manners 3. So if this is something that you are interested in, please stick around and we will get started. The curriculum that we used for health in our homeschool for the 2020-2021 homeschool year um, for third grade. Um, actually, this is the third year that we have used Abeka's Health. Um, it's very short, sweet, simple, and to the point, which is something that I love. Um, and I just get this book by itself. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't feel like I need a teacher's manual or anything like that. And it's perfect. It's been a perfect fit for us. Um, yeah, it gets the job done. Let me just say that. It gets the job done. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on the inside. And yes, we are going to move on to the fourth grade level for next year as well. And so you go ahead and you open the front. And you're going to see that I have some stuff and some writing in this because we actually consume the book because it's fairly um, low cost. And I just feel like it's easier. It costs me more money with my printer to make copies than it is to just use the book as it is. But here you can see they give a list of some of the elementary science and health series. Um, so we have done discovering God's world, enjoying God's world. Um, oh no, wait, I take that back. I digress. We have done the health and safety manners one and two and three now. And so we are actually moving on to the developing good health for the next school year. And I will be doing more, um, curriculum choice videos are coming up. I have another one coming on Monday where I will be sharing with you what we're using for math. So please make sure that you stick around my channel um, and hit the notification bell and subscribe too so that you can keep updated with all of the good stuff that we will be doing. So here is the table of contents. Um, and as you can see, um, the first um, lesson or chapter, I guess you could say, would be on posture and parade. And so it gives a bunch of information here. I'll just kind of let you read it for yourself. The next is on exercise for good health and then nutrients and you. So it goes through the digestive system, um, different proteins, vitamins, minerals, that kind of thing. Um, also covers some safety. Um, we really like this. Um, in the state of New York, this fits the bill perfectly. I don't have to think about it. It just does it. Okay, so here you can see um, in chapter four, a balanced diet it goes through um, your daily food choices, um, covers grains, vegetables, fruits, milk, meat, beans, oils, and others. Um, it gives examples of like a good breakfast, a good lunch, a good dinner, um, how to read labels, food labels, manners, and safety. Um, bicycle safety is included in here also. Um, personal hygiene, water safety rules, um, fighting different diseases and how they can be spread, um, how you can prevent diseases, how they can be cured, learning about fire safety. Over here, first aid, first aid and rescue safety. So it covers, you know, cuts, scratches, abrasions, bruises, um, slivers, fractures, and sprains, all kinds of insect bites and stings. Um, also covers poison, poisoning, electrical shocks, um, and then also your spiritual health, your social health, your mental health. So it has a whole array of things, and I'll just kind of give you a flip through, and you're going to see writing in here because, as I said, we write right in the book. Um, and what I've been doing is I've been doing it as a read aloud for my granddaughter, so I just read aloud to her. 
and um, she knows to be listening and I'm sometimes she's coloring or whatever but she knows that she needs to be listening because as you see there are things for her to do so if she's not listening then she doesn't know the answers <laughs> and so she's really funny I'll say are you listening yes I'm listening I know grandma you're going to ask me some questions so I'll just kind of slowly flip through and you can get an idea of what the book looks like it's colorful, it's bright, it's fun. And we don't do everything in the book, as you can see. Um, you know, some things we do and some things we don't. But this really works for us. Um, and we are year-round homeschoolers, so you'll see that there's even dates during the summer because we just keep on trucking. So it even gives you like, um, which of the following jobs do you do at home and, um, put a check mark, you know, by those jobs that you do and whatever. So, you know, it even goes through different kinds of chores and stuff that your children could do at home. Um, and she does help around the house, but I, you know, we didn't, I didn't feel that was necessary. <laughs> you can keep track of like your, how many hours of sleep you get and, you know, for us, I mean, she's pretty much on a routine, so every day is the same. I didn't think that was necessary as well, because you figure with a Becca, um, their curriculum is actually made for, you know, a school setting more than it is a homeschool set setting. So, you know, the book is more set up for, you know, either private school or whatever. But yeah, as you can see, just super fun, colorful and bright, and it's not boring you know, that is really good too. Like it's actually not boring because some of some textbooks I find to be very dry and boring, but this one tends to not be that way. Um, so that makes it nice. So here you go. They have sections called safety. Sam says, so they, in this particular case, they're going over um, traffic rules. And street safety. Yep, and then identifying different traffic signs. So this, I mean, it just covers a whole array of things, which I think is really, really good. Um, so it's a little bit of everything. So you can see just really nice. Even tells you how to hold your fork the correct way, <laughs> how to cut meat, et cetera, et cetera. So got some table manners in there, how to set the table, ideas for nutritious snacks. And, you know, like for Hope, it really was eye opening for her because she's kind of a little bit of a fuss budget. <laughs> so it was pretty funny listening to her. And so you can actually go through all the stuff that you have. And as you see, we skipped this part. Um, yeah. Just more writing for her, stuff that, you know, she doesn't necessarily really like to do. So we talked about those things instead of actually doing, you know, writing it all down. We just had in-depth discussions instead. But I just wanted to show you, you know, like as, as a homeschooler, you don't have to follow the curriculum exactly like it is. Um, you know, that there are different ways that you can approach your curriculum. In other words, your curriculum should be working for you. You shouldn't be working for the curriculum and it's okay to change things up and to do stuff differently. There is no wrong or right way as a homeschooler to do anything. Your way is the right way for your homeschool. How about that? So it even goes through, you know, how to floss your teeth, how to brush your teeth, different kinds of exercise, talks about the different like layers of the skin, the epidermis, the dermis, your pores and cuticles, the different layers of your teeth, the crown, the cusp, the enamel, plaque, um, what an orthodontist is. You know, if you need braces, here's another one of the safety, Sam, we're following water safety rules. So all kinds of wonderful things. Here's um, fighting diseases, how they can be spread. 
um, you know, talking about when you should wash your hands, how you can keep germs from spreading, how you can prevent diseases through vaccines, that kind of thing. Talks about like the different kinds of diseases that are caused by viruses. Talks about, you know, keeping your room clean, keeping the kitchen clean. Some common diseases that are caused by bacteria. So instead of them being caused by viruses, it talks about different kinds of um, infections that are caused by bacteria and how to treat them. Another safety Sam. Learning about fire safety, and actually, we were just talking about this today, actually. Um, you know, and just really going over, you know, how we would get out of our home if it were to catch on fire. Um, who she would need to call, what she would need to do, how she would need to, you know, go low to the floor. Those kinds of things. And we also did some first aid today. So we talked about that and different kinds of wounds like punctures and abrasions and, you know, like picking scabs, for instance, a scab is actually like God's way of covering a wound um, instead of it being covered with um, a gauze or something. I mean, your body actually covers your own wound and that's what a scab does is keeps out germs. So we talked about that. But here you see then it's going to move into like nosebleeds and fractures and sprains. Um, different kinds of stinging insects, talks about some ticks, um, some snakes and some spiders and ticks actually reminds me that I will be have, actually by the time this video is loaded, there will be a video up. Um, we actually talked about in our veterinary science unit that we are doing. And if you're familiar with our channel, we are, um, covering veterinary science and we're doing a whole unit study and we just did a video on ticks and you should really check it out. We had a whole bunch of fun doing that video and doing that um, little bit of an exercise. I guess I'll call it that because it wasn't really an experiment, but we had a whole bunch of fun. You should check that out. I will try to remember to leave a link in the iCard. So home safety habits. And see how they always have a, like a comprehensive checks list. Um, just really cool because it just, you know, constantly checks like, okay, you know, what have you learned? What do you know? Um, it also brings the Bible into it, which I really love about this curriculum as well. Brings it back to God's word. Um, so it's just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Like I said, it's really simple, really easy to do. Just open and go. No prep needed, and it's not boring, and it's really worked for us, and it covers what we need um, as homeschoolers here in the state of New York. So there you have it, health, safety, and manners. Okay, three. so there you have it, Abeka's health, safety, and manners level three. It works perfectly for us in our homeschool. Would I say I love it? I probably wouldn't say that I love it, but I really do like it. And it absolutely gets the job done, especially for us homeschoolers here in the state of New York that need to cover health. Um, it's open and go. It's simple and it's not completely boring. <laughs> and my granddaughter actually enjoys it for the most part. And yeah, so would I recommend this? Absolutely. So I hope that this is a blessing to you and I will see you in the next video.